open the door because since he never really attacked me before physically I just didn't feel any kind of fear that anything was gonna happen um, we started talking and suddenly he became really agitated and took a knife out of his socks and just started attacking me suddenly um, it was really fast I couldn't really do anything about it he slashed my face he slashed my neck um, of course I use my hands a lot to try to defend myself so my hands pretty much took almost all the blows um, he pretty much attacked me everywhere and especially my arms um, he almost detached my two arms, um, that's how they describe it in the newspaper. I was in the floor, um, he sat next to me because I, I remember asking him to just stop because I was already dead. Um, she was the one that heard my screams and went out for help and that's how I was able to probably survive because um, the police came, he was still in the apartment when the police came and they arrested him. I went into an induced coma and during all those six weeks that I was in this induced coma they performed seven surgeries on me, um, several blood transfusions and um, just trying to deal with of course infections and fevers and everything that went i stayed home pretty much 24 hours um, really refused to come out and really didn't met anybody with my case or anything similar so i really thought i was alone in this I didn't know about where to find help with this um, with this problem. Um, somebody told me about Safe Horizon and advised me to call and fan, find an advocate, and that's what I did. And I got an appointment really fast, and I was able to come. Um, I was treated really nice. Um, I was offered counseling and group meetings. I was able to meet several wonderful women that had similar cases to mine. Um, and um, we were able to tell our stories, um, to just comfort each other. And um, we became really good friends. Till, till this day, I still um, talk to some of them. So that helped me a lot because um, I, I just knew that I wasn't alone in this. and. Self Horizon truly helped me with this. After the attack, I was able to find a dentist and a surgeon to help me with um, the physical scars, also with my teeth that were damaged also during this attack. Um, and thanks to Safe Horizon, they helped me with all the referrals that I needed, and I was able to get my smile back. Me and my sister got adopted by a family. Everything to her was, a, you know, a scream and a yell. She didn't know how to communicate um, any little thing that we did wrong. It was a smack. It was um, us being belittled. It was um, a pull of the hair, a tug here. It was never, there was never, her swing and explaining anything to us. Um, her way of disciplining us was beating us. That was her way of even showing love. I really couldn't focus on much of anything. I mean, I had an outlet, which was my poetry, and um, I was involved in a couple of um, acting shows, which I really loved. 
but um, my mind was always at home. You know, there was always something wrong. So by the end of my day, I'm wondering what I was gonna go home to get beat for, because I knew that something would always come up. And one of the things that I clearly remember was after an incident, her dragging her son out of the room and screaming at him. But she didn't remove him from our environment. The sexual abuse continued for a long time. I was always scared, I was always nervous, I was always on my P's and Q's. I was always uh, locking doors and making sure that, um, that I was far away from him as possible even though he always found his way to me. I would always daydream about a better life, about a better place, about a real mom that was gonna love me, um, just real family, real people, you know, not this hellhole that was called home, you know, and I would always think that there was, there had to be a way out of this. I remember, I remember crying. I remember as I was going to bed, just putting my knees to my chest and I started to cry and sob because it was my first time being away from home, so I was scared. All the girls and even the guys were like, ramping and raving about streetworks. Everyone was talking about the famous streetworks. How streetworks is this and how streetworks is that and how the staff is real cool and how you could go and talk to them and get help and, you know, and they would guide you towards, you know, things that you needed, whether it was food or clothes or shelter. I remember just going into her office and breaking down and she was and she said she said are you okay I said I don't know and she and she looked at me she said you're gonna be okay I'm here to help you everything started coming out everything that I went through everything that I've been through and that I didn't know what I was doing I didn't know where I was going that I was hungry, I was cold, I was lost, I needed clothes, um, you know? And she helped me face the challenges of homelessness, which is something that I was gonna have to deal with for the next couple of years of my life. And she helped me with that. When you think of street works, so many things come to mind, so many positive, beautiful things come to mind. But if I had to describe Streetworks in one word, it would be life. Because I feel, and I still feel to this day, that Streetworks gave me my life back. Definitely a better person than I was a couple of years ago. Stress-free, um, definitely violence-free, um, drug-free, healthy, happy, positive. Thank you, Streetworks, and Safe Horizon. You guys are wonderful, and I hope that you continue to help other people the way you helped me.